there are some rich visual motives in the film. Uh, can you talk about the importance of water and food, for example? The importance of water is uh, directly tied to the Naga and them being water creatures. And in our film, water is the most important element. It brings uh, life, but it also represents unity and it represents the dragons, which represent harmony. Uh, so throughout the film, I mean, Sisu being a, a water dragon, uh, water really is a, a, a very important idea in the movie. Uh, you'll, you'll get to see uh, very clearly why. Uh, food is another uh, concept that we use in our storytelling to bring people together. This is a story about people um, who are fragmented and have to learn to trust and have to learn to coexist. Uh, and food being such an impo important cultural element, uh, it represents togetherness, it represents sharing, it represents uh, uh, taking time to experience a moment with someone else. So uh, food is used throughout the entire movie in, in tracking where these characters are. Raya, earlier in the movie, eats this uh, jackfruit jerky that she makes herself and doesn't share with anyone and that is the only thing that she'll consume because she doesn't really want to eat anyone else's food doesn't really want to uh, have that moment she's been hurt and 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 uh, is is it's just on the very very opposite end of the antitrust and throughout the movie she meets all, she meets all these characters uh, and through food she starts opening up other characters start welcoming her start offering their trust to them and uh, towards the end of the movie, we see that all these characters are finally sharing a meal, are finally sitting at the same table, uh, sharing this moment. And it's, uh, it's a really beautiful experience to, to track trust through food. Kui, tell us about the martial arts in the film and how you contributed to that element. Uh, well, I got the, uh, the honor of being one of the martial arts consultants on the film. Uh, and, and, you know, when it comes to making the, the, the martial arts for it, it was very much like we wanted to, uh, you know, like everything in this film, you know, be inspired by the, the actual martial arts from Southeast Asia, uh, specifically in the sense of, you know, the ones that the styles that we used, it was Pinjax a lot, Arnie's, Muay Thai, and traditional Vietnamese wrestling. And that was basically to, to be able to celebrate those things. But also for me, if a kid loves this movie and inspired by this movie, I wanted it to be something that they could go out and study. And that, and that was these real martial arts that mean so much to me uh, as, you know, I'm, I'm from Southeast Asian background myself. Okay, and this is for whoever would like to add. Uh, what was the most exciting part of making this film for you? And what do you hope audiences experience and take away with them when they see Raya and the Last Dragon? Um, I guess for me, the one of the most exciting things about making this film was also one of the most difficult, which is uh, uh, the fact that we, you know, had to basically make this film at home. Uh, over the course of the last year and a half because of the pandemic. And, and it was so uh, different um, for us that, you know, for those of us that have been here a while, it was a very different way of working. And, um, and the fact that we kind of overcame all the challenges, both technical and, and Disney cultural, um, to, to make this beautiful film is something I'm extremely proud of. And, and if people took away one thing, it's, it's just the thematic of trust and how uh, it takes a, a true act of bravery to to reach out and trust somebody that you that you don't. And and what can come out of that is 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 something beautiful, something that it can lead to uh, unity. And so it's worth it. We we knew a year and a half ago when we started working on this movie that the the thematic elements were timely. But as as time passed and as as twenty twenty came and went. Uh, we realized that this conversation could not be more necessary and this movie couldn't be arriving at a better time. It, it really encourages people to think about what are the steps that we need to take in order to, to be able to coexist and to be able to work with someone who we, we naturally wouldn't or who we believe to have more differences than similarities. Uh, so we're, I think we're just mostly excited to be able to provide a little bit into that conversation and to give people some, some um, 
something inspiring to um, to take them away from these very complicated times that we exist in right now. Yeah, Raya is such a, a warrior, such a badass. She can, she she she's such a you know she 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 can do martial arts, but uh, she's basically a superhero. But I think that what's so important is the the true superheroic act at the end of this movie uh, is trust. Is something that we all can do. That was the real act of bravery that she does to save the world. And I think that in all in in, in real life, that that is kind of the thing that we really desperately need right now is uh, just a, a reminder that you know we we have more in common than differences. Okay, thank you. That is all. That's a cut.